modern day Jonah. We read things like the book of Jonah in the Bible where this prophet gets swallowed up by a whale and we say it's not real. The Bible's not real. Well, my friends, in today's video, we're going to talk about a real life modern day Jonah. Friends, my name is Alvaro Ontariano and this is a channel Uniquely Mary. So I want to have just this brief video where we talk, talk about Cape Cod lobster diver Michael Packard. This last Friday, he was swallowed whole by a whale. He was doing his typical work, diving down. He had caught about 100 pounds of lobster that day, just doing his normal serving as a scuba diver, which is usually a very dangerous sport if you've ever done it, a dangerous sport a dangerous profession you have to be very careful but he was well known in the area he was taken very seriously he had already encountered death many other times but this time was something different and i think it's maybe something god wants to speak to the world he said he felt like he got hit by a truck and next thing he know he went all black and he knew he was inside of something he was inside of he didn't know a shark or a fish he realized that there weren't any teeth so it wasn't a white shark he thought, I must be inside of a whale. It lasted maybe 15 to 30 seconds to almost around a minute. And that whale just went up and then spit him out. He felt like inside the whale, like he was being crushed, like his legs were being crushed. It must have been a teenage whale. Later they realized because it was clearly feeding and didn't really know what it was doing, swallowing a human. Whales don't typically eat humans, you know, that's not something they like to eat. So he got spit up. Everyone saw that happen, this foaming white water thinking, what is going on? They didn't realize what had happened. They just saw that he had come out of the water. He was uh, sent to the hospital. He called his wife. They all came and checked on him. And the whole thing was this surreal experience. And in my reading of it, I, reading of it, I thought the obvious connection to Jonah. Now this guy was only in the whale's mouth for maybe less than a minute, maybe two minutes at the most. In Jonah, the way that it's described, it seems like he's in there for days on end, three days actually, because he's meant to be kind of this prefigurement of Jesus. But it just goes to show you that truth is stranger than fiction. So we see this reality of this guy being swallowed up just like Jonah did. God could have done it back then to the prophet Jonah. So what does that tell us about the scriptures? Just one more evidence in the world that we can have faith that it's reasonable, that we can believe what's in the Bible. And if we're not gonna believe, God is gonna give us these crazy things to happen that happen to show us, yep, I can really do it. I did it back then, I can do it now. God bless you and I will see you in the next video.